Um, did you have any um, prior inspirational sources? Uh, you were mentioning the whole uh, the the canoe project, and that kind of got me thinking of uh, whether you were um, aware of uh, work like uh, Tor Heyerdahl. Oh, very much so. Very from a uh, you know from childhood. Um, it was his. Uh, you know, he was the great, as far as I'm concerned, he was the great living adventurer, and he was so just amazing at, at how he, he took a, you know, he would take a concept, the first one being Kontiki, where he thought, well, you know, how did these people get to these islands? And so he studied, he, you know, he was adopted actually by a, by a Tahitian chief early on, and um he had, you know, he just had, incre you know, the English term is guts. He had incredible guts to say, well, why don't we build something and see if we can actually travel? And that's, you know, that's what they did. Um, I have a, actually an original copy of, uh, of Kontiki and from uh, reading more about Heyerdahl and the other men who were on board the Kontiki, they, as far as I know, they had just come out of World War II where they had been working in the underground against the Nazis and so they had these men had you know absolutely no fear whatsoever because they had seen death um, yeah, and so they thought for, for them I'm sure you know building a, a, a balsa wood raft and sailing in the Pacific was nothing <laughs> compared to that but it's just a you know there, there's a great video um, documentary of, that they filmed and it's, it's amazing what they you know, just the the uh, the bravery of these of these you know Scandinavian men to do this. It's like, well, let's see if we you know 101 days and you know, let's see if we can make it. And they did. You know, it's quite amazing. And then after that, of course, he you know he, then he explored with the Ra expedition, the Tigris exp expeditions, and I don't think people have fully appreciated you know what he you know what that man did. I think that's kind of uh, relevant and and, and profound that. That you got inspired by things like this because um, it's very much uh, on the topic of uh, of courage and not being not feeling conditioned or limited in 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 opportunities and and you must have had something like this but why were you not saying all these things are or you can't become one of them and you can't go out and and be an adventurer like this what do you think well Oh, sorry, but it's it's something that I actually constantly ask myself <laughs> because um, it's you know when your heart is driven to do something, you you just you go ahead and you do it, and all this mental programming conditioning comes in saying, "What are you doing? You shouldn't do this." You know, why aren't you a doctor or a lawyer? And uh, you you do go through periods of time of of self, you know, very much self doubt. Um, sorry <laughs> about. I've seen it on your videos about, already, so I know that's going to happen. <laughs> oh, that's uh, terrible. Well, I'm uh, yeah. Um, so it's uh, what I'm thankful for is I'm I'm thankful for people like yourself and others who, um, you know, are supporting what it is is I'm I'm doing and are interested, and that uh, that very much assists me in in continuing um, because it is um, you know it's a very unconventional way. <laughs> to do but it's so intriguing that um it's actually it's quite amazing how little of human history we actually know and that there does seem to be whether it's a uh, uh, scholarship or universities or governments that are trying to cover certain things up and um the more that i i get into this the more i'm i get angry with um the fact that our you know our global birthright as human beings is being suppressed um you know we naturally want to know where we came from and what we accomplished what our ancestors did and so the more little pieces i can unravel it makes me happy but it makes me even happier to know that i can share it with uh, hopefully with a global audience and that's definitely what you've been doing and that's what amazes me about your work and and why i find you specifically so important in this because you have done something that haven't really been done before um, you seem to be more in the spirit of information wants to be free or openly sharing your work um, a lot of the people that have gone before you have been extremely important 
but they have still been focused a lot in in that uh, then I'm going to write a book and then I'm going to uh, copyright all the pictures and they've been very protectionist in in the style that they that they operate and I think you're the first with of course a lot of uh, the others that you're actually working with and people like Graham Hancock and and Boval that really just come forward and just just share a, a, not all of it but at least some of it with uh, an open audience and do it for free and and that's amazing in my opinion Oh well, thank you. The thing is that it's you know it's with the benefit of um, of social media and with telecommunications that we have, you know, which is so you know Skype, for example, it costs nothing, so it's easy for me to do that. But it's also it's important that um, because we're living in an age where things are moving so rapidly, that information is you know is is moved rapidly um it's it's like what you were saying i don't give everything but i i always you know when i'm a few steps ahead i always talk about what it is that i have just been doing in order to to draw, hopefully draw more people in into it and i I've, I've learned a lot from people even for example through facebook people have uh, some people have amazing little bits of information that they haven't been able to share and so I'm very happy to, you know, to read or or watch what they've been doing and if it if it makes sense to me then I add it into what I'm doing and I hope people do that with my information um as well. Um it's just you know, of course I want um you know, I want my books to sell and I I you know, with my tours, but it it seems to all be an, an integral system that works very well. If you give information out for free, you do attract energy back to you with people saying well what else is it do you you know that you know um and you know i have to say well you have to come with me to see it and you have to pay for it <laughs> so they do it's great i think that's that's maybe one of the things that i find so important and and why i i targeted uh, you and you and your work is because what's happening right now in in my mind is that a lot of the shamans i would call you that um are coming out and and getting noticed and it's a very specific type of 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 person it is that involving personality that you have uh others might have extremely valuable information but the fact that you are so open and so socially oriented i think that's very much a key to which type of person is going to have an impact in the coming years I've noticed this uh, with many of the people out there. It's the application of modern technology, but it's even more the personality type, because you are very happy to engage with people, and you are naturally open. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know if it well, makes uh, sense, but uh, I, I just think that that people like yourself will be the driving force for their specific fields. It's just an observation. Well, I, I, well, I, I definitely hope so. I'm just, I'm amazed at how rapidly I've been able to, um, you know, speak to, you know, speak to to people about this. Uh, I've been writing articles for Graham Hancock for, you know, a little over a year, and he was my, you know, he was the first major famous person who I've been in dialogue with, and since then, it's just been, it's been growing just exponentially with all these um all these different you know robert boval david children you know etc 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 and it's uh i'm 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 very you know i'm very honored by it and um it just seems that almost every day there's someone new or, or something new that i can connect with and it just it builds you know it's just building like a, a strong force and the most uh the major thing I I want to say is that I you know I am simply a messenger. I am not the message, and uh, I never want to become attached to what it is that I know because that becomes dangerous. Um, you know that that's that's when the that's when the ego of the person starts to take over, and they think that they are you know they are the message, and that's not who I am. I'm simply someone who who finds something interesting and goes. What do you think? <laughs>